everyone Moshe the electric Israeli is here thank you for joining my channel if you are new please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time thank you to all my patrons and those who ordered their Tesla using my referral code now if you remember way back in 2012 when Tesla Model X S, I'm sorry, X later on came out a couple of years later, one of the two great perks was that you get free supercharging for life. And then you get later on, it came to be the battery and the powertrain became to be uh, an unlimited warranty, okay? Like for life, infinite uh, miles warranty for, for, the, for the battery and the train. Now the battery, has now changed you no longer infinite mile warranty now it is limited to 150,000 miles in the model 3 by the way that i have you get eight years 120,000 miles whichever comes first and uh, in now in the s and the x only you get 150,000 miles but uh, uh, there is going to be uh, something called the 70 percent capacity so if the battery degrades to 70 percent within those 150,000 miles, then this is also going to be covered. Now, if you remember, there's a controversy that um, about the uh, performance of the battery due to, to software update. Ch uh, the, the changes to the performance of the battery due to the sof uh, software is not covered now. They said if there is a software update, and the battery performance has changed and it's not covered under warranty. I remember there was a class uh, suit, this class action uh, lawsuit against Tesla uh, with the Model S and X when uh, there was a software update and then there was this precipitous drop in the um, in the range and the, in the basti, uh, battery capacity of the Tesla. Now I can tell you that a, battery, a software update actually helped the Model 3 rear wheel drive that I have gain more miles, 15 more miles. And lately the all wheel drive also got, I think, uh, 12 more miles to what it has. So, um, so software update uh, sometimes gives more power and more range. That I can attest, that happened in my car. But in the S and the X, there was an issue, uh, an issue with that. Now, that's not going to cover uh, uh, the, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, model, I'm sorry, the Tesla model S 60 kilowatt. That's not going to cover that. So let me read you a couple of things about the new warranty model S and X, eight years or 150,000 miles, eight years. That's also a limit, whichever comes first with minimum 70%. A retention of battery capacity over the warranty period with the exceptions of the original 60 kilowatt battery manufactured before 2015 which is also covered by eight years uh, 150,000 miles I guess they do not have the battery degradation uh, Tesla Model 3 and Model Y started uh, started or uh, standard or standard range plus eight year 100,000 whichever comes first. So I have the 120,000, which with minimum of 70% per, uh, percent, uh, retention of battery capacity over the warranty period. So that's new. The Tesla Model 3 and Model Y long range performance, eight year, 120,000, whichever comes first, with minimum 70% retention of battery capacity over the warranty period. So starting, moving forward, that's what you get. You get uh, the Model S, the Model X, 158 years, Model 3, Model Y, 8 years, 100,000, uh, the standard and standard plus, but the long range of the uh, Model 3 and Model Y get 8 years, 120,000, 20, but they do get the 70% degradation battery uh, capacity. I think it's good. I really do think it's good. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a good, uh, you know, peace of mind. Uh, for people, most people will never get to that uh, uh, miles in the lifetime of the car. I will. I'm already at 50,000. But it's it's good to have. Let me know what you think, if, especially if you are a Tesla owner. Uh, what do you think about this uh, uh, new policy of the of Tesla? I wonder. I like it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you tomorrow.